Hello, it's December 23rd, 2022. It's 5.28 in the afternoon and I'm here to do a market recap. So the market is already closed and to begin with our recap, let's look at what the SPY had been doing. So the SPY has still been on that consolidation. We're still below the VWAP, below this moving average. And if we put a rectangular here, you can see that we are still on that consolidation. And having that in mind, it is a bit challenging just because we are not having that big of a move unlike when we were in the bull market. So with that in consideration, we would have to consider that some moves can be mostly for a scalp trade. For today, I traded only in the afternoon because I was not in my trading station in the morning. So to begin with, I traded SPY and I also traded Tesla and also Amazon. So let's look at what I saw with Tesla. So with Tesla, the reason why I traded this one was Tesla has still been on that lower lows, lower high in that daily chart. Now, with that lower lows and lower highs, what I saw in the five minutes chart is it is respecting the Camarilla pivot point, specifically the line that I want and like is the R3 as well as the S3. So if we get to see here, it tried it to test S3 and we did see a good support at the S3 bounce back close to R3 and after bouncing back to R3, we did see a rejection there. And from there, we just trended to the sideways. So this line right here is the previous day close, that dotted line. And what I saw in Tesla was it tried to test that previous day close a couple of times. I opened my computer at 12 noon. So this is the sideway, sideway actions that I get to see. Now, thought process here is we tried to test previous day close twice, one, two, and the third one. So when it was heading close to the third test to the previous day close, and let me just zoom that in. So this is my first entry here. First entry is right here with a stop loss below that previous candlestick. So I'm using the five minutes and entered long here with a thought process of it will try to test that previous day close again and sure enough it did so i soon as it showed some signs of weakness and close to the previous day close i started covering and moving my stop loss to break even which is this candlestick right here and that's the time that i got stop out so with a long i was able to get 120 for that now looking at the tape as well as the level two as well as this is the third try for this to touch that previous day close and we did see a good and a strong resistance there so i flipped my position to the short side so this is the short here with a stop loss at the top of this candlestick right here so short right here added to my position just building my position right here just because we are almost about to lose and go below those moving average and sure enough after i add to my position we see a drop there so that drop, I covered my position. Then waited for this stock to give me another signal for it to show some signs of weakness, which it did. So I reshorted it here, covered my position, reshorted again, adding to my position and cover, moving my stop loss to break even, which it got me stop out. Now I was trading SPY as well that time. So I was not able to uh, look at Tesla the whole time. But when I saw that we are about to lose this moving averages right here or we have or we are about to go below the moving averages i shorted it as well and kind of confident with this stock or with this trade just because look at that all this candlestick right here are below the moving average so as soon as those moving averages and this vwap right here as soon as the support was broken which at this time was the vwap then we saw that move to the downside. So I covered my position here, a bit aggressive to the add, but I added to my position and cover all the way down here. Though the cover is, I, I could have just partialed, but with that move, I didn't wanna get stop out or didn't wanna make this trade as a red trade. That's why I was trailing my stop. And that's the thing about trailing your stop. There is a big chance as well that you might get stopped out, which got me stopped out, and it's still my feeling. 
but that's okay, I guess. Um, we are just here to manage our risk. So with that short, I was able to get 360. So that is my test entry. Now the next one that I did was fine. So what I saw it's fine, this one was at 140. Using the five minutes chart. I'm using the five minutes chart now just because we are done with that opening play. And I usually use my five minute chart when it's after an hour and a half of the trading day. I use this because after an hour and a half or past 11, we get to see less volume, meaning there would be not much of a move. So I have to silence the noise of the stock and silencing those noise, meaning I can or I should be using a higher time frame. So what I saw in SPY was SPY had, we are in that inside bar. So yesterday's bar is bigger than today's bar. So today's bar is inside yesterday. So that's an inside bar play. So together with Tesla, this one had been respecting the R3 and the S3 right there. So this is the previous day close right here, that dotted line. This dotted line right here is previous day close. So what I saw here is it tried to test the uh, S3. S3 acted as a strong support, tried to you know, pass through R3 first. This is the second time it tried to go pass through R3. And we did see that it does not have that momentum for it to go pass through R3. So that price right there is acting as a strong resistance there. So when I saw that this one is starting to go pass through this price action right here or this price level here, but it did not have the momentum to do so, I entered the trade to the short side. So just zooming the trade here. So this is the third time that it is about to try to test the R3. It did not even get to the point where it is at this level. That's the previous time that it tried to go closer to the R3. So when it was in this level, thought process is there's not enough momentum for this to go higher. So I entered short here. So that is the short at below this candlestick right here. That is the entry. That was the trigger. Because trigger is first, that is, I can put a logical stop loss and entry. So stop loss is going to be on the top of that candlestick. Entry is below that candlestick. So I got my filled here. I got, um, they filled me with this short market maker did. And once I was short that time, another good indicator that that's a good level to short is because that is where we lost those moving averages. So shorting it there gives me that move. So it's below, it's going below the moving averages. And sure enough, I get to ride this from that piece or from that price right here. So that's around three, close to 382 sudden drop right there because the thing is algorithm is on my side as well as other traders sudden drop right there and those are the cover that i have so cover trailing my stop loss and i got stop out there now i see that this one is still heading lower because candlestick next to that is still below the moving averages so i shorted it as well i shorted it again this one breaks through those that moving averages trailing my stop and I got stop out there. So with that move, with a spy, I got 680. So that's the thing about trading with having a logical stop loss, which is in this case, logical stop loss is top of this candle, candlestick. That's the stop loss. Entry is below this candlestick. And I got the trigger, I got the fail. Once this candlestick is starting to form, that means I am shorting it at the momentum when it's going down. And sure enough, that the momentum was enough for it to have that move within those two candlesticks. So with a span of less than 10 minutes, I was able to have that move. And then we're still heading to the low side, still below the moving averages. So another entry here is 
this candlestick right here. Below this candlestick is the trigger entry to the short side. Above this candlestick is the um, stop loss. So you have a controlled stop loss there, controlled risk, and you got the move right there. So that's around 1.2 to 1 reward to risk ratio. The other hand, this one is eyeballing it with this. That's at least 3 to 1 reward to risk ratio. So with that, that was a 680. And then the next trade that I did, the last trade was Amazon. Okay, so for my Amazon trade, what I saw in Amazon is it is almost on that inside bar, but Amazon had been, this is S3. This is the S3, Camarillo Pivot Point, R3. Unlike the other two stocks, Spy and Tesla, this one traded above R3. So what I saw here was it tried to test previous day close. And from there, it was just heading higher. Now, if it's heading higher, of course, there will be there will be a time for this to have a pullback because those who were long will cover or will sell their position. So that's what I was waiting for on this trade. So around three, that is usually the time where we get to see the volumes coming back. So three, look at the volume right here. That's higher compared to the rest of the volume here. Three onwards up to four. That's the time that those who are long will sell their position. Those who are short will cover their position. That's why we get to see an influx of volume there. So when I saw that it tried to test the R4 and it serve as a, a strong resistance there we have that inverted hammer which is a sign of weakness i was able to see amazon late so i was late in the party because the ideal entry here is this is your short this is where you short it so entry here at this level stop loss right here with your partial at the first signs of reversal which could have been, let's see here, would, you're going to get stopped out right here. So I entered short a bit late. Stop loss right here. Entered short. Added to my position. And partial right here. And then partial right there as well. And this one right here is the time that I was all out. All out was actually at the post market. Post market right here. This one was my exit right there. So shorted it here, added to my position and partial here and all out right here. And with that, just a very little move, I got 155. So overall, three stocks, Tesla short and long. And with that, I got 1200. So very small trading day today, um, just because it's an afternoon trade. And at the same time, it is a very small move so mostly scalp trades um so yeah um that's it for my trade so i hope you had a green trading day december 26th the market will be closed so i'll see you on tuesday and um if you do have questions please feel free to email me and thank you for watching and i'll see you at the next one thanks